All right. Okay, so. I got another thing, but this is with a real gun this time. So, I was out doing a bit of target practice with my Heritage 22. And, well, as you can see, I can't cock the hammer back all the way. Unless I use a lot of force. And now it's locked. And the only way I've found that I could fix this, which is... Okay. Is to remove the cylinder, which... Now, as you can see... The trigger assembly still works. But let's get it to the real problem. All six shots fired. Now... Now, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to do this, but I'm doing it anyway. Now, it's kind of hard to see, but on a couple of these, it seems like the bottom, seems like the area just above the rim is bulged out ever so slightly. It's probably this casing is the best example. So the camera will stay in focus. Yeah, as you can see, this Casing is does have a very slight bulge on the area just above the rim. So... Okay, and that's causing the weapon not to cycle properly. Or not causing the cylinder to... Not causing the cylinder to rotate properly. Um, I'm thinking that's just a problem with the... Now, it's not a problem with the gun. I... Okay. Okay. These things are a bit like tanks, and so just gonna put this back together. As you can see, all cylinders empty. functions perfectly. I'm thinking that it might be a problem with the ammo itself and not the... Okay. I don't know. This is a ELA 22 caliber. Which I'm thinking that this wasn't loaded correctly or it's... I don't know. It's either wasn't loaded correctly or I've been storing it improperly. Or I've been doing something... Or it's something else that I don't know of. Um, if anyone knows exactly what's going on, I, uh, I greatly appreciate this, uh, because if it is a problem with, uh, this particular bullet, this particular brand, then, uh, well, they ain't getting my business anytime soon. Alright. Thank you.